uh, you can go on to like YouTube, I think, and they have new Masters Academy um, sites like that, which is life drawing. They're timed life drawing, um, and it rotates randomly through it. Um, you color, yeah, I color way faster. Like, okay, I'm gonna show you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna show you right now. Let me let me uh, bust down camera again, um, and I'll show you how I will go about coloring this. Uh, boom, bye. All right. So, CSP, we have our line work, right? It's all, uh, it's all set in place. Um, I create a new layer underneath everything, and I'll set that to multiply. Um, and then because we have all our line work and, and stuff in there, now, this, this is why this is not cheating either, because this, only, this does not take away your ability to, to, um, to pick colors or to paint effectively. So remember that. Um, I do not want to. Pardon, I do not want to cry today. <laughs> um, we have the power of God anime on our side. <laughs> Paint a Siamese cat mixed with a barn with a barn owl. Siamese cat mixed with a barn owl. Where'd you come up with that? That would be kind of cool. Greg's court of dude. The court of owl is fantastic. I love that. Yeah, for sure. We're streaming a lot, fam. We're streaming a lot. Join us, Young Shinobi. <laughs> we will convert you. We will convert you, fan gamer. How long do you think before we make fan gamer into a weeb? <laughs> okay. Um, so let me bust this out really quick to show you how I do my colors in uh, CSP. Um, so I'll pick a color over here. There's there's three ways that you can fill in colors very quickly. Now I'm uh, I'm on a layer underneath my line arts. Um, I can use the lasso fill tool, which is going to be this icon at the top, this blacked out icon. It's also over here. I think it's underneath your ruler's palette. I think by by default this is going to be a ruler, um, but it's hidden within there too, right? So what lasso fill is going to do is whatever you shape you make with stuff. It's going to just automatically fill it with color. Um, in this case, that's not the right choice we want. Um, but for my shadows, I will use that and I will use a G pen. So, what I will use for flat colors is I will click on this paint bucket. I will go to refer other layers up here. You can use refer other layers, you can use close and fill. Close and fill, I don't use as much, but I used to use it a lot. What Close and Fill does is it's like a lasso tool, but every shape I enclose, every full shape that I enclose, is going to be filled, right? So that's clean. Yeah, doing this shit by hand is a lot. I know, and this is why this is why if anybody tells you this is cheating, it's not. It's just saving time, um, because all you're doing is adding flat shapes. It's not cheating if you have to know how to use how to pick colors that match with each other. Um, mind blown too, right? So this is close and fill. Like I said, every shape within this is going to be closed and filled in, right? So if I'll zoom in a little bit and show you guys again. Like this hand, if I do this, not gonna do anything, right? I need to go around that whole shape that's closed up. Like I need to, these border lines, they need to be closed in and then it'll close. You notice it didn't fill the thumb because I cut through the thumb. I didn't go around the whole thing. Um, what I use the most though, what I use the most is refer other layers. And this will refer all the layers and you just, like a paint bucket tool, you go in and you just color, right? And then these open spots, sometimes it'll get that. That's when I'll grab my lasso fill tool and I'll just kind of color it up. Right, so now I'm filling in all those layers super, super fast. Um, dog should have drawn hands. Yeah, if you, I just up, I literally just uploaded a video last night on the YouTube channel that gave, uh, tried to give the simplest breakdown to draw hands that I possibly could. Um, so if you're on YouTube or you want to check that out, I think it's like a 10 minute video and I just tried to break down proportions and you can check that out too. Um, Okay, now like let's say we want uh, we want to change this peach. I 
can't really see what colors I'm picking on this monitor yet, so... Um, these colors are off, just ignore them. They're just temporary colors. They're flats. Like I said, close and fill. Or this is the refer other layers tool. Um, just kind of go in there. Right? Real quick. And then if I want to use my lasso, or if I want to use my G-Pen to tidy it up, I can do that. Um, and just knock these out super quick. Uh, the YouTube, it's look up Scuba's art on YouTube, or I guess it's in my social media link too. It's in my panels too. Um, er everywhere, every site that's going to be Scuba's art. Uh, including Chatterbait. <laughs> including Chatterbait. Um, McDonald's fry box technique? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people do that. I think Sticky called it uh, the hot dog technique or whatever, which probably means something else too. Um, <laughs> that we won't go into. Okay, so now. Now we've got these colors, right? Um, so let's say I've added all my colors onto CSP. Uh, I don't like this brown on this cow, or I don't like whatever color on this cow. The other thing that I love that CSP has is that I can keep all my colors on one layer, uh, all my flats on one layer. I'll go to select, select color gamut, um, and then it'll give me this eyedropper tool. And then I can select, it'll select everything of that color. Even if I have it over here, um, let's say we deselect him, um, and I put that color on the pig. So like, even though these two colors are separate right now, if I do select color gamut, it selects all of it. So then it's really easy. I just go into tonal correction, um, transform, and I can adjust to whatever color I want, right? Just do whatever I want with it. So that's how I lay my flats down. Um, once all my flats are laid down, I'll create a new layer. I'll set that on top or underneath, it doesn't matter. Set it to multiply. This is where I use my um, lasso fill tool. And I'll take that, I'll set it to kind of a, usually like a, a sort of a purple color. Um, try not to use grays in your coloring. Like just try not to use Try, try to stay away from grays and blacks and whites um, when you're doing shadows and highlights. Um, although I do use whites set to overlay and screen, usually using a color is going to help you out a lot more. It's going to give you vibrancy. So I'll just go through here as a quick pass and just start using the lasso fill tool and just adding in shadows um, just super quick. Like I said, this is not, if anybody tells you this is cheating, they're full of shit because you still have to know, you still have to have all the knowledge of um, where these shadows are gonna go. Like all you're doing is making the tedious process of coloring stuff in a lot faster. Which time is, time is money. You're a business and time is money, right? So let's say we would have all this in shadow, right? Um, all right, looks kind of shitty right now. Heavy purple, right? Doesn't look doesn't look good. But to fix that, we just drop it down. We drop our opacity down, and this is a key. this is what a lot of cell shading uses is it'll drop it down. Um, but we can also do tonal corrections on this, right? If we don't like that purple look, then we just kind of mess with it until we get something that maybe we do like. Usually between like a purple and like a, a red, I find work really well. Um, but just keep fucking around with that, you know? And and then you'll get there. Um, they're being driven to the slaughterhouse to make hot dogs. <laughs> Maddie, please. Maddie, please. Um, but yeah, um, I do that. And then I think my last step, usually my last step is going to be, um, I set a layer to overlay. I. Uh, grab like a white or like a, just a color that might work with that. With overlay, you don't have to worry about too much because um, it's gonna kind of pick up the color underneath it and it's gonna kind of make highlights. So like wherever you want your highlights to be, you know, set that to overlay. Knock that stuff out too. 
Um, this is so nice. It's super nice, and it speeds the process up so much. Um, oh, I can show you this actually because this is a good example of where to use overlay. So have our flats have a uh, sort of like a yellow, right? So like shiny stuff. We want gold. Um, then if we go to like that overlay and we get like a white on it and that lasso tool, that lasso fill tool. Um, and then we kind of make that, that shine look to it. And we can set overlay, we can do screen on it. Screen kind of gives it more white and then drop that opacity down. Uh, I think normal just gives it a white look the same way. Watch the stream at the same time. I think, uh, what did AJ say? Do uh, what would you say? Do an owl, an owl and something else mixed together. That would be kind of cool. Like a hybrid animal. Or if you just want to study stuff, if you just want to study stuff, I would draw, um, hey, you were talking about Capullo, go for, go for Batman. Barn Owl and a Siamese Cat, yeah. Or if you want to do something a little bit more, a uh, little bit more comic booky, knock out, uh, knock out some Capullo Batman stuff. Maybe like a Nightwing. Some animals that look in, oh, do you really? Yeah, I love using Pinterest for stuff. Um, like, it's great. Okay, I missed a lot of what I think people said. Let me catch up with chat. <laughs> Why you got a face palm chatterbait? Um, it stayed around the line art specifically. Yes, Ariel, you can um, actually adjust the, you can adjust the settings too. Like the close gap on here and the color margin it picks and like it can get tighter to colors, it can get tighter to your line art. Um, all that stuff. I use a dropper tool in Procreate, but the shapes have to be totally closed, which is an issue since uh, for fur I have to... Yeah, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I don't like about Procreate is having to drag that in. And I don't know how to do the, select, the color gamut and change individual colors yet with that. Um, but with this, with this, I can close the gap. Like it will close the gap on that. Like you're saying, if I just turn this all the way up, it'll close the gap on my line art. So it'll, it'll kind of intuitively do it. Like, are because of this, this will, it, Ariel, it will save hours. It will save hours. Like, really, hours. Once you know color, color theory is what you need to know, and that's where your skill set comes in, right? Um, but yeah, it will, it will absolutely, like, you need to know this stuff. I think every program kind of needs stuff like this if we're gonna, like, make it within the art world and we can turn out things on time. Um, traditional is a whole nother story altogether, but we don't get paid as much with digital I find, um, than selling like an original piece. Um, let me see, if you're using Procreate, if you drag the color, swatch to canvas, it will fill in line work as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I think doing the same shit. Um, you like and search for the reward, but you get amazing suggestions. Yeah, once you get trauma, once you get like all of it figured out, it it's awesome. It's addicting too. <laughs> yeah, do it. I mean, that's what I'm doing. Honestly, or buy a Huey on. Oh, you got to, you got a Huey on too. Did you get the same one Hasten got? Yeah, I've heard a Huey on is great. Honestly, I really do like my Yanova. I really, really do. The only problem I have with it is that 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 one little part of the cord went out and the screen is kind of blue. Hey, Jazzy, what's going on? Yeah, Hasten bought a giant one. He doesn't use it much, does he? he? That man is a collector of art supplies and tools. I wanted to, but couldn't afford it. How, how big was the size you uh you got? <laughs> no, he uses it. No, he doesn't. He is a collector of art supplies and tools. And then if you wait it out long enough, you get his Copics. <laughs> That's what I figured. Uh, once I, do you know like the uh, the uh, the measurements on it at all? Okay, let me go back to this. If I was smart, I would have made my overlay <laughs> up to where I don't have to do this shit every time. But I'm not smart. 
So, boom. All right. I hope that kind of helped you guys a little bit with stuff. Um, like I said, uh, don't spend all day coloring with the fucking pen like we used to back in the day before I before I learned this type of shit. <laughs> don't kill yourself coloring nonstop forever, uh, especially if your line work takes days and days and days like mine. Um, did I miss anything anybody asked in chat, by the way? <laughs>